as we have already discussed whenever there is a separate section as under anesthesia or when a procedure is being designated as under anesthesia it always means a general anesthesia it's not mac it's not regional it's not local it's only general anesthesia so in that case the surgery would have been done by an anesthesiology provider the last type of anesthesia that we are going to see is mcs meaning moderate or conscious sedation so what do you mean by this conscious sedation what is that here what happens is conscious sedation can be given by the surgeon himself or by the anesthesia provider itself or there may be two providers who are involved in administering this conscious or moderate sedation we have separate code listings of mcs codes under this medicine section chapter these are not classified under the anesthesiology section because these type of sedation can be given by the other healthcare providers also other than anesthesiology providers whenever this moderate conscious sedation is being instituted you know we have like age wise codes it's like less than 5 years we have one set of codes and if it is more than 5 years we have the other set of codes in this conscious sedation what happens is the patient is sedated enough so that he does not feel the pain and he is conscious enough so that he can obey the verbal orders of the physician so that's what becomes a conscious sedation now with the recent revision in the cpt manual what has become is initially there were like procedures that included this uh, conscious sedation so you don't have to report it separately but nowadays what has happened is you need to report this conscious sedation code separately along with the procedure and here you need to know what is the time that is being actually spent because conscious sedation codes vary we'll have to assign the add on codes based on the time intervals so you will be given a table in the medicine section of the cpt manual where you can easily figure out based on the given time intervals you need to capture the codes accordingly so you will have to also assign the units according to the time that is being spent while administering the conscious sedation so we have different codes age wise and also physician wise